we have prioritized education under our budget and we try to allocate as much resources as we can afford but we acknowledge that there is still a gap and i always say that education is where our mouth is and that is where we should put our money our food we can own all the mines we can own all the oil fields but if we had no skilled manpower we cannot even find where the oil is and where the minerals is because we acknowledge that we don't have all the resources to provide the level of funding that is required by the education sector we should incentivize the public to come on board and we are doing this in two ways first we are pursuing the public private partnership to encourage especially the institutional savers but also private sector and individuals and i'm happy to hear that there are private people that have invested in education and that's why we have those private training institutions and that's why the government has decided that nafsa should review the funding policy so that those institutions that can provide quality training in areas of need strategic need can be incentivized to continue to do so but we also want to encourage those that want to do so in partnership with government through what we call public private partnership to come on board